At some point while you dive cellars in Diablo 4, you're gonna come across the lights out puzzle. Now the goal of this cellar is to light all of the braziers, and they may be randomly lit when you zone in, and if you leave and come back, they do not reset, they will stay at whatever configuration you have. So you can just, you know, randomly click around and light them, and you can sit here and do this for a long time. And the way this puzzle works is, Whenever you click on a brassiere, all the other ones around it will turn on or off. So if I click this one, all of these will turn off. Just like that. There we go. So uh, this can be very frustrating to get all of them lit. Uh, but there is an easy way to do it. So uh, I can't teach you the algebra to, on how to do this. There, it, it is a math problem. You could scribble a whole bunch of you know numbers down on paper and solve it that way. But I can't teach you that. I can teach you the more practical way. You go to Google, and then you type in Lights Out Puzzle Solver, okay? From there, you click this one. This is DDO Veil Puzzle Solver from perfectweb.org. So just click that, and there we go. So now we have ourselves a nice little box configuration. And so what we can do now, let me make this really small, is we can copy what's in the game. So you can kind of see the game here. Uh, the only two uh, torches that are lit are the one on the top, the, the two on the top. So we're going to click edit here, this little edit button. You can click it multiple times to reset it, but we're just going to click edit. And then we're going to turn all of these off, except for the top two. There we go. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. So now we're going to click solve, and it's going to do all the math for us. So it's going to put some numbers here. And the way that this works is we're going to start at the top left and work our way to the right. And they go down, starting back from the left, and work our way to the right. So we need to turn on, we need to activate this torch, and then this torch. So let's do that now. We're going to activate this torch, and then this torch, okay? And then we're going to, what does it say? Activate the three torches from left to right in the middle. So we're going to touch this one, and then we're going to touch this one. And then this, and there you go. That lights all of them up. It's that easy, and then you can collect your rewards. Which I got a legendary helmet. Awesome. So that is the way to beat the pen, penitent temple. Alright. Penitent temple. Which is... Uh, I don't know if it's always this stupid puzzle when you come in here. But um, man, is it, this is an annoying puzzle if you don't know this trick. I know. I am literally just made a, go a video to tell you how to Google it. But look, it, it, it's super handy. Uh, so there we go, and then obviously, you know, whenever I play it, I can just, you know, simulate it here, and there we go. So, it's that simple, guys. Go out there, solve this puzzle. If you're watching this video, you probably typed penitent, pen, penitent temple into Diablo 4 Penitent Temple. I know, man, this thing sucks. It really sucks if you don't know how to do the algebra behind it. But um, otherwise, the only other way you're solving this is clicking randomly, and that could take forever. You know, <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, go check out some of my other Diablo 4 videos while you're here. You know, they're pretty fun. I read every comment. If you have any questions, let me know. If that, if in the future, if that website no longer exists, you're going to have to click on some other websites and someone out there will have made a similar program on how to solve this. I'm, I guarantee it, okay? With that said, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss other Diablo 4 content. And uh, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. So go ahead and click that. And the girl that you have a crush on, uh, she will uh, date you if you do.